on the dot. We're live. Hello, people. Wow, we've already got like 18 people on the stream. Nice. Very, very nice. Love it. Um, okay. Oh, oh. So we will get started here in a second. Welcome to the stream. Let me, um, I don't know if, if people are watching, can someone at some point to let me know, um, if my audio is off from my voice, um, at some point, let me know that. That'd be awesome. Cause it was, it isn't in videos, but, um, I, I don't know. I think it was in the streams the other day. So let me just tweet this out really quick. How is uh how's everyone's day going so far? Babcock to Detroit. I don't think so. What's up, Trevor? <laughs> What's up, Trevor? Uh no, I think um I think I think Babcock to the Devils makes the most sense, to be honest. Um that's what I'd say makes the most sense. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay, I am now ready to take questions. I just posted on our Twitter and everything. Um, let's see. So a few a few things here. So uh, the connecting for Kessel trade, I it's tough. Um, it kind of depends on where your team is at. Um, I think if you can take the risk of Kessel, then it might be worth it. But there is inherently risk with Kessel. Um, okay, uh, let me let me just see really quick. I wanted to check out if I remember correctly, we did a little bit of a deep dive on connecting the last stream, but I don't want to like say the wrong things. Let me see. Uh, the show copy here is loading. In the meantime, I'll answer a few other things. Um, Need to sit one in a points like this from Simon, uh, Line, Huberto, Stone, Besser, or Debrincat. That's a tough one. It's a very tough one. Huh. I'd probably go. Oh, man. So I like Besser against Winnipeg tonight somewhat. Or Sorry, uh, Besser against Nashville. Um Winnipeg is going against Dallas, which is a tough one. And Line is on that second power play unit, and that first power play unit is awful at creating chances. I like Vegas versus the Sharks with Aaron Dell in net. I obviously I don't think you can bench Huberto with how well he's been playing. Um actually, you know what? I'd go I'd I'd bench Debrincat. So I'd play Line Huberto Stone Besser and, and bench Debrincat there, Simon. Um I can take a little bit more time this time, finally, because of uh <laughs> because we actually have some time. Normally I have to rush through these because we're so close to game start, and now we, now we have a little bit of time, which is nice. Um, okay, let's see, what are some other ones? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let me let me play some music actually first, so that I can have something going on in my in the background of my head. Um, yeah, that that works. I like that. Um, Okay, now I'm ready. So let's do the next one here. Uh, 13 thoughts. Sit one, Babcock, Desjardins, Patrick Waugh. <laughs> well, Patrick Waugh is my all-time favorite goaltender. Uh, so I think I'd probably sit in Babcock so that he can get the treatment that uh, he can finally feel what it's like to get uh, his benching treatment or less minutes. That's probably what I'd do. Uh, okay, Riley, what's your opinion on Vassy right now? Getting a bit frustrated and wondering if I should hold on for the ride or target another goalie. My second is Rask. Because you have Rask, I'd hold. Um, I'd still hold on Vasilevsky. I still think he's got all the um, all the potential to be good. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry very much with a guy like uh, Vasilevsky. I think he'll be totally fine. Um, maybe you'd want to eye streaming a goaltender in and maybe benching Vasilevsky on harder nights. Um, but from what I've seen and from the eye test, like he looks good. Uh, it just looks like the defense is a little bit out of whack at the moment. So I wouldn't worry too much on Vasilevsky. Um, Good, we don't want him. Yeah, Trevor, I, I, I think the the Red Wings are doing just fine as they are. What's up, Shaggy Madoodle? Love the name. Always love when Shaggy Madoodle joins the stream. Um, 
thank you for saying hello before uh, shouting out a question. So hold on to point right now. Hold. Uh, I mean, unless you're like in an eight team league and you have options, I think you got to hold point at the moment. Taser Voracek tonight in the standard cats league. Um, I would, I would keep Taze in the lineup. I would play Taze over Voracek. Voracek's just been doing nothing. Uh, it's, it's not really worth it. Uh, let's see what else, what else folks? Um, we've got Janssen for Taze. You know, I don't, the problem is the reason, the only reason I'd say I don't love that entirely is because of, um, uh, is because they're playing the Coyotes and the Coyotes are really hard to score against. Um, so I would probably, I'd probably play Janssen. Honestly, I don't like that they're against Arizona, but I also don't like Taze very much against Tampa Bay. But Tampa Bay is playing McElhaney. They're not playing Vasilevsky, most likely. Uh, just go Janssen, honestly. It's kind of a toss-up, honestly. I think Janssen has a chance of, like, the the Leafs just, like, lighting up Arizona. But I don't think that's going to happen. Arizona has the number one save percentage in the league. I think, if anything, we just see a lot of shots on net, but we don't necessarily see a lot of goals happen. Um... Okay, let's see. What's next? Um, Olaf, Athanasiu, or Taze tonight? So Olaf, Olafson is off of the top line at the moment. So I would definitely bench Olafson. As for Athanasiu or Taze, I like Taze over Athanasiu. Uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets have actually been pretty good. Yeah, Janssen's down to second. Good good note there, Vishal. Uh, Janssen is down to second power play now. Um, and Nylander has moved up to top. So Janssen, of course, doesn't have the power play opportunities, but, uh, you know, I really, you'd be looking for Janssen, in my opinion, you've always kind of held on to him for the even strength line with Matthews, uh, which he's still on. So at least there's that. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, Duchesne, Point, or Nylander? Bench one. Man, that, that one. I feel like you can't bench Point versus... Um, uh, who is Duchesne? Duchesne's going against Vancouver. Huh. I and Nylander just moved up to the top power play in, in Toronto. Honestly, I'd probably bench Duchesne and just play point Nylander. Um, hope for the best with point. Even especially with uh, Kucherov out, you might see something there. Who knows? Uh, so that's what I do. So now Peter Kutas, Arvidsson for Dadnov sure they're kind of similar to me in a way like if you need a more balanced coverage between goals and assists go dadnoff if you really need goal upside you should hold arvidson um how do we feel about barry with keith now at the head brandon and i have talked about this a lot in off offline um i still think that barry is, like barry is a slight by low to an extent a slight slight by low in the sense of like okay he might be able to stay on the top power play. Um, of course, it's not guaranteed. I mean, Marner is still out, right? What happens when Marner comes back? Does just I don't think they shift one of those top guys to the second power play. I think I think Barry would shift down to the second power play. Um, so I think he's getting a chance. He's getting a look, but I think it's very unlikely that he keeps that top power play. Um, but nonetheless, like it's worth the risk. If he's an FA, I would say pick him up. Why not? Uh, okay. So usual question with the same players, Jamie. Um, start to Grubauer at Minnesota, Bennington versus Calgary, Mrazic versus Philadelphia. Okay, so I actually had the same exact question posed to us on Twitter today. Um, exactly the same, and I actually said Grubauer and Bennington. The reason is for Grubauer, I really like the matchup against Minnesota. Uh, Colorado has a pretty good odds of winning uh, tonight versus Minnesota, and I, it's Minnesota, and Dubnik's not playing. And then Bennington's just been lights out. Calgary's on a losing streak. I, I'm not huge on them. They're away. Um, I, I don't think that's going to go great. And from Mrazic, like Philadelphia does not score very much, uh, but Mrazic doesn't have the best save percentage in the world. Uh, I trust Grubauer just way more. But that being said, if what you're looking for is just strictly wins, like if all you want is wins, you don't care about the save percentage or whatever, I'd go Mrazic and Grubauer actually. Um, and then I'd bench Bennington. No, no sorry. I'd, I'd play Mrazic and Bennington bench Grubauer if all you want is wins. If you're looking for more than wins, then I'd go Grubauer Bennington. Uh, trade Anderson for Kemper. Whoo! That's a spicy one. I don't think so. Um, I don't think so at all. I think I'd... 
I try to get less than that. I man, uh, Michael, this is from Michael Crane. What are what are your cats like? What are you looking for? Who's your other goalie? That's that's a really complex one. Anderson for Kemper is is risky. Um, Jackson Line a or Rust for tonight specifically. Uh, for tonight specifically, I'd go Line a, I think. Um. Actually, nah, I'd go rest, actually. I'd go rest over line A. Line A's on the second power play, not getting much time. Um, it, that top line also is not getting many opportunities. They're playing a tough Dallas team who's hot right now. Um, I like I like Pittsburgh against the Isles more than I like line A, I think. Um, Gurianov, Kubalik, or Atkinson. So if you can only play one, I'd probably play Atkinson tonight. I really like uh, Columbus's matchup. And the opportunities they'll have tonight. I really like him against Detroit. So I'd go Atkinson if you can only play one. Thanks a ton, Drew. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in and, and the love. Um, okay, what's next here? Sean, Riley, sit one, Duchesne, Wheeler, Nelson, points league with shots on goal and blocks. I'm probably benching Nelson, honestly. Um... Yeah, I'd, I'd bench Nelson, I think, in that situation to play Duchesne and Wheeler. Um, you know, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't really care to play Duchesne and Nelson and bench Wheeler because Wheeler's playing Dallas. Oh, man. But with the shots on goal and the blocks, like, Duchesne, Wheeler's just going to get you those peripherals. I'd say if you need shots on goal and blocks or they give you a nice floor, then play Wheeler and take the upside. If they aren't worth much, then just go Duchesne and Nelson and take the points upside. Um, Wheeler's minutes, right now at least, are just way too low. And it's not worth it. Um, okay, next up here. And someone asked about the Line A thing. So Line A is, if you watch the bust watch on Blake Wheeler that we did today, um, Line A is actually on the second power play with uh, Blake Wheeler. And Line A and that that Wheeler power play with Line A is getting only around 25 to 30% of the time over the last three games or so. It's not it's not pretty. Uh, okay, so what is next? Let's see. Uh, Chikrin or Dumba? Ah, Chikrin or Dumba? You know, I would... kind of depends what you need. If you need points, I think you got to go Dumba. Chikrin last game only played 17 minutes, which wasn't great. So I would just go Dumba, who got the better deployment last game. And, and while, while Toronto could have a great game, I still don't believe in their defense. I think their defense is their biggest uh, liability. And what was missing, what, what their defense sucked last year. It sucked this year, or it has sucked this year. The big difference from last year to this year is just that the goals aren't going in. Uh, they're not as good on offense. So I'd go Dumba in that situation. Uh, Giordano or Ellis, I would go Giordano for sure. Yeah, Drew, I would go Giordano. Um, play up to two, Bob, Crawford, and Ronta. Huh. So I'd play Bob for sure. Uh, so I'd play Bob, and then I'd play Ronta. I know it's Toronto, and everyone is like, I know everyone is saying, like, you know, Toronto's going to go off. But right now, we've got to assume Toronto is what they are until Sheldon Keefe shows us otherwise. And it's just the first game with him. Um, maybe it lights a fire under him. Who knows? Nonetheless, you can't ignore that Arizona is the top save percentage team in the league. I'm playing Ronta versus Toronto still. Um, and if he gets lit up, then fine. Uh, let's see. Trey, trade Huberto for Bergeron. Nope. I would keep Huberto for, you know, especially, especially in a points league. I mean, Huberto is one of the few right now that I look at and I'm like, yeah, he could totally get like a hundred points. I would, I would keep, um, yeah, no, a Adam also asked like if they should look to move Huberto. No, I, I don't know if, um, you followed us early in the season, but like I was super high on Huberto. I was ecstatic to get him in the fourth and fifth rounds. I, there's genuinely arguments that Huberto should have been a second round player and no one was touching him. Um, he's sustainable as hell this season so far. He's a high shooting percentage, but aside from that, like he's been unbelievable and the eye test really, um, really passing him. So what is next? Uh, what type of return should I be looking for with Jones? Uh, Flaky, are you looking at Martin Jones or Seth Jones? Couturier, Horvat, or Bergeron? I'm guessing you can only play one, in which case you gotta play Bergeron. Um, yeah, I'd play Bergeron there. Okay, so someone mentioned that Ronta, uh, Ronta's not starting. Kemper is starting. That was a good point out by people in the stream. Um, so, yeah, the, 
obviously, if you can't play Ronson, then go your other two guys. Um, what is next here? Start two, O'Reilly versus Calgary. Kopitar versus Edmonton. Trocek versus Anaheim. I'm going O'Reilly and Kopi. Trocek doesn't have the deployment right now. I, I get why everyone's, you know, high on him and whatnot. Um, but I, I would go O'Reilly and Kopitar. We're high on Trocek as well, but until the deployment is where it should be, there's no reason to play him. Points league, sit one of Radulov or Wheeler. Sit Wheeler in a in a points league at least. Uh, what's next? Yeah, Brandon's, uh, Tyler said, dude, loving the content and shout out to Brandon's new series. Uh, which two would you start out of these three? Dadnov, Lynn Holm, or Ricky Rax? Uh, I'd probably start Dadnov and Ricky Rax, honestly, just because Florida gets scored on a lot um, and bench Lynn Holm. They're just so cold at the moment. Um, yeah, Brandon's series are really fun, honestly. And also, like, tweet us or let us know, like, in comments and stuff, what other kind of topics you'd like us to cover at Fantasy Hockey 101. We have a long list of ones that we've thought of, but we could always use more. I know Brandon really likes making them, and he gets primetime billing with Monday Monday nights, or Monday afternoons, I guess. Most people watch on Monday nights. Uh, okay, would you be starting Arvidsson versus Vancouver over to Brinkett versus Tampa Bay? Yes, I would start Arvidsson versus Vancouver over to Brinkett versus Tampa. And then second question, this is from 9 Predator 7 And would you start Couturier at Carolina over Larkin at Columbus? Um, no, I would start Larkin at Columbus. Even though I don't like either one of those, I would rather start Larkin. Um, start two of Kopi, Getzloff, Krejci. Definitely Kopi and Krejci. Those are the two that I'd go. And I'd bench Getzloff. Uh, Cats League. Oh, that's from Tyler. Yeah, even in a, it, even in a Cats League, I'd go Dad and Ricky Rex. Uh, Tyler. Hey, Greg. Welcome to the stream, and you're welcome. I'm glad you're. Uh, I'm glad you're liking it. Um, sitting to bring Cat, Trocheck, Stashny, Raquel, and Coyle. Yikes. Yeah, it's it's weird. It. I mean, there's some players. I I benched Wheeler the other day. Actually, it was weird. It's just like I said, the minutes I don't like a lot. Um. Okay, uh, lost my position in here. <laughs> Apologies, people. Okay, I found it. There we go. Uh, Jamie Mack asks, start two, Meyer versus Vegas, Mantha versus Columbus, Besser versus Nashville. I would start... Mm, I would start Meyer. And I would probably start Besser. I think that's what I... I'd probably go Meyer, Besser, and Bench Mantha. I don't feel great about it, but... That, I think those are your two best options. Oz 237S, start two. Anderson at Arizona. Kemper versus Toronto. Mrazic versus Philly. Grubauer at Minnesota. Personally, I would go... I mean, if uh, for just straight wins, I'd probably go Mrazic Grubauer um, and not take either side of that Toronto-Arizona game. If you're looking for save percentage specifically, I'd probably go Kemper versus Toronto and Grubauer. Those would be my two. Uh, 13 thoughts at one JT Miller, Atkinson, Goudreau, you bench JT Miller. You got to play Atkinson and Goudreau with the matchups they have tonight. Oh, I mean, Goudreau, you just always need to play, I think. And then Atkinson, um, against Detroit is a good one. Um, yeah, JT, I mean, if you look at like JT Miller versus Goudreau's matchup in terms of odds of winning, they're pretty much equal, really. Like I, I would say that they both have hard matchups, but if I had to choose which harder matchup, which player I trust more in a harder matchup, I, I trust Goudreau all day. Um, is Arvidsson worth more than a streamer spot at this point? Honestly, not really. Um, go take a look at Unsustainable Wednesdays. We talked about, uh, uh Victor Arvidsson in there. There's quite a few things that are really alarming. I would try to trade him first. I think he's probably worth something out there. Um, but yeah, unless his shot, unless his shot production picks up, he's not really worth much. Uh, let's see what next Ehlers at Dallas or Raquel at Florida. I mean, both of them are tough. I'd probably go Ehlers at Dallas, honestly. Even though I don't like the matchup there, I like Ehlers at Dallas. I like Ehlers more than I like Ricky Rex. Uh, Craig Beeson in Banger Cats League. Sit one, Monahan, Trocek, Goudreau, Nylander, Gensel, Konechny. Hmm. Probably Monahan. I think he's still second line in Calgary. Uh, let's take a look here really quick. Yeah, Monahan is still second line, so I'd bench Monahan of those and just go with the other guys. Um, I like Trocek. Trocek gets you the peripherals at least, and you have Goudreau, who at least is with Monahan. Um, so that way you're spread out. You're also not stacking uh, Goudreau and Monahan. Krejci or Trocek? I would go Krejci, Schwartz or Debrinkat. Schwartz. Those are the two. That's J Duds. I'd go Krejci and Schwartz with those two. 
Um, Usman Barak, sit one, Bertuzzi, Willie Nylander, JT Miller. I'd probably sit Bertuzzi, honestly. Probably. Is right now the ultimate time to sell high on... Wait, hold on. You got you to do this right. Boys! Is right now the ultimate time to sell high on Willie Nylander. Uh, that's the right inflection, I think, Thomas. Yes, I would say I'd absolutely try to and see what you can get. Um, I think, you know, he's there's extra hype because of Sheldon Keefe. Uh, be sure to take a look at, you know, the in-season tool and, and make sure that you're valuing him properly because uh, you don't want to just sell for the sake of selling. Make sure that you're selling and getting more than what Willie Nylander's worth. Uh, two tendies, Vasilevsky, Gibson, Grice, Grubauer. That's a tough one, actually. Uh, I'd probably go Vasilevsky, Grubauer. Should I trade for Goudreau? I mean, yeah, as you can. I, I'd always advocate trading for a guy like Goudreau. It just depends what it's going to cost you, honestly. Um, Edward Thomas Swan is casting more than a streamer. Yes, at this point, he is. One thing to pay attention to is just where he's going to be, though. Um, because the issue is, like, in terms of off nights, like, if, if you're not playing him and you're often benching him, he's he is worth a streamer. Um, but if you actually can play him a lot, then he's definitely worth it. Uh, sit one, Grace Kemper, Rask. I'm probably sitting Kem mm, wins goals against save percentage. Man, that's tough. I like all three of those. Huh. I like all three of those chances there. I whew, that's a that's a tough one. That's probably the hardest one I've seen all night. There, I like all three of them. I'd probably go Rask and Grice, I think. But I would for sure play Rask, Brent, but then it's between Kemper and Grice. I'd personally go Grice, I think, but I don't hate the idea of Kemper either. Uh, Osiren keep one, Mike Smith or Koskinen. Probably Koskinen at this point, but it's really a 1A, 1B uh, for the most part. Any players you would target in a trade using Svetch? Um... Well, I got Meyer out of him. Uh, the tough thing is really just how people value him. I've, I've found that on one hand, I, I feel like people aren't getting enough for Svetch for what he's worth for, so far from the trades I've seen. I liked getting him for Meyer. It's a very comparable player with similar upside, and more consistent, I think, rest of season as opposed to just like right now. Um, but that's tough, honestly. I'll have to think about that one a little bit. Um Cyberspeed, thanks for the love. Um, Got to pick one out of Dylan Strom, Keller, and Silverberg in a bangers league. Got to pick only one? I would probably go Keller tonight, honestly. Although it is a bangers. Yeah, especially in a bangers league, I'd just go Keller. Would you trade Weber and Lion A for Dowdy and Stone? Huh. That's a tough one. Um, it's So, Jackson, one thing I'd say there is, like, how is your team composed? Because Dowdy gives you a lot of peripherals, which is nice. Um, man, that's a tough one. Weber and Lionel for Dowdy and Stone. I'll come back to that one. Maybe I'll maybe I'll float it to Brandon and see what he thinks, too. Because um, he might have an opinion there. Uh, okay, let's see. I was offered Larkin for my Wheeler in a standard Cats League. Man, that is... <laughs> Another one of those really tough ones. I mean, I I don't hate it. I think they have very similar ceilings. Um, and at this point, like, you're getting the safe deployment in Larkin and a guy who definitely should pick it up. Whereas you have a guy like Wheeler who you need him to get that better deployment. Otherwise, like, he's kind of not a bum, but just not great. Um, I would... So, yeah, oh, man. Again, kind of depends on where your team is at. I think if you're in first place or, you know, top of the league, I keep Wheeler. Um, I think if you're looking for upside, I'd, I'd take Larkin for your wheeler and say, you know, I just need I need something soon. Uh, Besser or Goudreau, I'm guessing for a start tonight. i probably go Goudreau. Um, uh, thanks for the work. Number one is Bennington. Cats are wins, save percentage, goals against, shutout. Anderson for Kemper. I uh, kind of answered this before, and honestly, the 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 risk there is you are 
sacrificing potential win upside. But if you think Arizona is a real deal, this is what I'll say. If you believe Arizona is the real deal and will keep winning, which I'm not, I, I can't tell you. I think that they'll slow down a little bit at some point. But again, that's kind of a, if a team will continue winning is also very subjective in, in, to an extent. So if you think Arizona and Kemper can keep winning, then in that situation, sure, go after Kemper. He's going to have better goals against and safe percentage, especially in a league like that. The thing you're really sacrificing, you're betting and gambling on is the wins part. Uh, bu- 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 uh, Callie Brissett or Watson? Who is, br- I don't even know these people. Are we, are we talking football? Brissett or what? I think we're talking football here. Cali 800 percent. Wait, is tonight the Colts and the um, Colts and the Houston Texans? Oh my god, I haven't watched any NFL this season. I've watched a few Pats games, but I, I honestly haven't watched anything. Um, it is okay. I'm taking a wild guess then here, and I'm gonna take a flyer, and I'm gonna say you should play Jacoby Brissett. Why? I don't know, but I would play Jacoby Brissett. <laughs> I don't know what what I would say. Um, but anyways, uh, okay, let's see. Shif, uh, Daryl, Shifley, Krejci, Kadri, Standard got to sit one. I would sit Kadri and play Shifley and Krejci there. Um, Drew Coles, Dadnov, or Rust? Probably going Rust, I think, actually. Ah... Uh, Nah, I go Dadnoff. Go Dadnoff versus Rust. Um, let's see. Where am I now next? Okay, continue going. So someone had asked... Okay, so uh, Flaky had asked about Seth Jones. I'm trying to remember what the question was. Oh, who to target for a guy like Seth Jones? It really depends on how... Personally, I'd say that what I would do with Seth Jones is... I think selling him alone... <laughs> Vishal is very against playing Jacoby Brissett, by the way. Just saying. Um, Seth Jones is tough because I think people look at his stat line and immediately know that he's bad. But I have found that people have a lot of trouble valuing trades or valuing what to do when you have two people. Um, or Sorry, let me restart that. <laughs> people have a lot of trouble valuing <laughs> trades when it's only like when you're only looking at two players. So if you include a package, people have a lot of trouble. Like if you send a trade with Seth Jones alone, someone will of course say like, Oh yeah, Seth Jones isn't worth that much, but make it like Seth Jones plus someone. And all of a sudden Seth Jones, for whatever reason to that person looks so much more valuable. It's like, Oh, I'm getting that person on top. So a guy like Seth Jones, I personally would do more of a package deal. Uh, sell high and Ryan Strom. I would, if you can, um, all the same at the same time though, I don't know if they're going to move Ryan Strom right now. He has so much chemistry. I don't know if they're going to move him. Um, one second. to be on the stream he needed attention so here you go people give him his attention um okay so sit one uh, peter asked sit one of hellebuck bennington or kemper what do you think you have no thoughts lovely uh let's go sit probably hellebuck and play kemper and bennington in my opinion um chris asked riley smith jt miller or larkin um I'm guessing you can only play one. Make sure that it, uh, also if you guys ask a question, though. Um, yeah, if you guys ask the question, just make sure to say how many you're sitting or how many people you've got to play. Um, Riley Smith, JT Miller, or Larkin. Uh, for tonight, I'd probably play Larkin over JT Miller and Riley Smith. Um, hello, Richard. Um where is this one? So Ben Hoffman, Giroux, Arvidsson, Teravainen got a bench too. I'd bench Teravainen and Arvidsson, and I'd play Ben Hoffman, Giroux. Yeah, I, I'd play your first three there, Ben Hoffman, Giroux, which I'm guessing you put in that order on purpose. Uh, probably already thinking about it, I'm guessing. Most people somewhat tend to do that. Um, Tom asked, 
Bench one center, Aho or Malkin. Bench one left wing. Bench one right wing. So let's get through these. So bench one center, Aho or Malkin. I'd probably bench Aho. I don't think you can bench Malkin in that situation. Bench a left wing between Huberto, Evander Kane, and March. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I love Evander Kane. The only thing that scares me about Evander Kane tonight, at least, is the fact that he has uh, he's playing against Ryan Reeves. It's the big Ryan Reeves matchup. So there might be fights. He might be in the box a lot. But I think you would go Huberto, Evander Kane, and then bench March or so. Um, bench one right wing Brown or Ryan Reeves because you have hits and it's Reeves versus Evander Kane. One, you can't bench Reeves versus Evander Kane when you have them both on your team. You've got to play them. What are you, what are you doing? What? Um, oh, you are in the way of the microphone, dude. Okay, go. Come on. Go down. Uh, I would bench Brown and play Reeves um, just because of the hits. Yeah, the, the hits for Reeves should be insane tonight, I think. Uh, Blues fan 91, sit one. Edler, Giordano, um, Edler, Giordano, Muzzin, Ekblad, and Morrissey. Uh, sit. Probably Ekblad, honestly. I'd probably play Edler, Giordano, Muzzin, and Morrissey. Yanni or Brown. Depends what you need. If you need points, go Yanni. If you need uh, peripherals, go Brown. That's kind of the that's kind of the thing. Thank you, Dennis. Yes, if you haven't already, um, be sure to subscribe or hit the like button. Either one of them are very appreciated. Or just thanks for watching. That's all. Honestly, just watching is is enough as a thanks to me. Uh, Chris asked, start one. Bangers League. Riley Smith. J T Miller. Dylan Larkin. Bangers League. I'm going Dylan Larkin there. Uh, Matthew. Seth Jones or Ekman Larson. I'll, I'd go OEL tonight. Um, Doug asks, sit Kapanen, Dubois, or Galchenyuk? I'm probably sitting Chucky and playing Kapanen and Dubois tonight. Um, well, mm, where's Kapanen playing? Honestly, I haven't kept up with Kapanen too much since he came back. Let's take a look here. Kapanen is on the third line. Okay, bench Kapanen. <laughs> Second power play, third line, bench Kapanen. So play, um, yeah, with, with Kapanen, that... that that setup is awful, so I, I wouldn't want to do that. Um, let's see. Where did I leave off here? Yeah, so sit Kapanen, play Dubois and Chucky. Start to Brincat or Perron in a points league. Perron, I think, in a points league. Perron's been on fire, and I love his line. Uh, who would you start between Goudreau at St. Louis, Teravainen versus the Flyers, Horbat at the Preds? Huh. I would probably st I would start Goudreau if you can only start one TJ. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate the um appreciate the super chat a ton. Um, you are I, I got a new modem thanks to your thanks to your last super chat. And as you can tell, the stream has been running smoothly. So thank you for the support. <laughs> Do I bench Rust or Raquel from Alex? Um, I would I would probably bench Rust. Um, I know he got points last time versus the versus the uh, Islanders. But the thing is that last time, too, there was uh, Varlamov in net and not uh, Grice. And I think Grice is a little bit better so far this season. Even though I really like Russ's deployment, um, I think I like Raquel's opportunities against the Florida Panthers today more than I do Rust. Although I think I could be completely wrong there, honestly. <laughs> I think I honestly think I could be completely wrong. Uh, okay, what is next here? So next up is Peter. Start two, Eichel, Pedersen, and Dubois for Categories League. I would start Eichel and Pedersen, I think. Um, yeah, I'd probably go Eichel and Pedersen. Um, I mean, I depends what the cats are. I guess if like if you count hits and whatnot, it's just like a standard. You count hits and everything. I'd probably go Dubois and Eichel. Or sorry, Eichel and uh, man, messed up all my player names there. I'd probably go Dubois and Pedersen. Um, and I think that would be that would be a, a fair, fair thing to do. Uh, is Brock Nelson a good pickup in a 10-person league after dropping Vrana? Sure. I'm actually surprised. I, I would think that in a 10-person, they'd be better than Brock Nelson. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, Brian Little on waivers. Don't know if I should snag him and drop either Kapanen, Gord, Howla. That must be a deep league. Um, but if so... 
I would probably drop him. I would probably drop Kapanen. I don't think Kapanen is worth holding. I think Kapanen is solely being held because people like to touch nice things. If you listen to the show enough, you know that that's a mantra. People like to touch nice things, and I think people just want to have a piece of Toronto, and so everyone's picking up Kapanen. Kapanen, we know who he is. He's on third line, second power play. Just straight up not worth it. I know everyone is holding on and excited, but no. Uh, to Foley or Sod today, probably Sod, in my opinion. Um, trade Goudreau for Huberto. Wow. Interesting. Huh. I would I would take Huberto, actually. I would actually take Huberto over Goudreau, I think. Yeah. There's very... Yeah, I think I would. I, I think I would take uh, Huberto over Goudreau. Sit one of Dylan Strom, Wheeler, Arvidsson, Larkin, Coots. I'm probably sitting Dylan Strom and playing Wheeler, Arvidsson, Larkin, and Couturier. Uh, hits, blocks, goals against. Yeah, that's a, yeah. I would play Wheeler, Arvidsson, Larkin, and Coots, um, and bench Dylan Strom there. Uh, Soderberg or Stashny for a points league, probably Stashny. Um, Stashny's a points guy. He's just been slow, and I think he'll turn it around. Um, at some point, although, I mean, honestly, between those two, just whoever has the hot hands, I don't think it's necessarily, um, I don't think it's necessarily a difference. I think they're somewhat equal and it's just which one you think is Kelvin. Um, what is next here? So Flaky had asked cats if, if, So if you could shop Seth Jones and point for Dowdy and a center option like Marchessault or Nugent Hopkins. Uh, I don't know if I'd sell point for that low. I think I'd want a little bit better coming back for the... I mean, Dowdy's pretty good. Hmm. That's tough. I don't hate it. Just remember, I think the thing with point is like he has a ceiling of like 80 points, but a floor of like 60 as well. So it's a little tough. Um, I don't hate getting March or so uh, and Dowdy there. But I, the problem, too, though, is like Dowdy is kind of the same problem as Jones. where like the points are great, but the problem is like like the points are great, but you also get all the peripherals the same as Jones, right? So Jones gives you that point. What I would say is keep Seth Jones in point in that situation because what you get is you get the peripherals that Dowdy is going to be getting you from Seth Jones. And then point has the point upside. Um, and so that's a big thing. Thank you, TJ. I appreciate it so much. That is that is so, so incredibly kind of you. Thank you. Um, I, I, I appreciate it. Definitely do not have to do that, but appreciate it a ton. Um keeps us keeps helps keep the lights on here as much as we can which literally the lights on um okay uh, pesca sit to bertuzzi at columbus peron versus calgary dadna versus los patos los patos is becoming a thing yes we uh, if that is all if that is all i accomplish in my time as a podcaster i will be i will die happy if the last thing we accomplish is making the ducks call being called los patos i would be ecstatic uh, okay, so it's Perron versus Calgary, Dadna versus Los Patos, and Fairby versus Carolina. At Carolina, sorry. Uh, they have to sit two. So I'd, I'd sit Bertuzzi. Um, and I'd sit Fairby. Yeah, I think you have the right thing. I think you have the right move there by going Perron and Dadna. I would, I would play those two. Um, and then Nicholas asks, start two. Mrazek versus Philadelphia. Bob versus the Ducks. Murray versus the Isles. I probably go Mrazek and Bob there. Uh, Jackson. So they, they were reiterating the uh, the thing about uh, Lina and Weber for Stone and Dowdy. They were saying they have Petrangelo, Shat Shattenkirk, Goligoski, Jones, and D. And they've got Dadnov, Perron, Rust Hall, and Shen on the wing. Um, you know, with that kind of defense, like... In my opinion, I'd just hold. I, I'd hold there. I don't think you're gaining anything by training Lina and Weber for Stone and Dowdy Jackson. I think you're... Um, I guess it's pretty banger heavy. And Weber's 14th, Dowdy's 27th. Um, yeah, I would just hold. I, I don't think you gain anything from that trade. I, I would just I would just keep it there. Um, <laughs> I'm just seeing Vichel's uh, anger at me again for recommending uh, <laughs> Jacoby Brissett. Oh, that was funny. Um 
Is Chabot worth holding considering his plus minus is a risk? Yeah. I mean, how much Joe, this is coming from Joe. I mean, it depends on how much I don't, I honestly only play in one league with plus minus and that's simply to, and I ignore it. <laughs> so I'm, I don't have a great gauge on plus minus, but it depends on how much your plus minus is worth, which is, would be good to know if like your, your plus minus is worth a lot, then I, I guess he can't ignore it very much. Uh, but Shabbat, in my opinion, is definitely worth holding at minimum. Definitely try trading him. Um, he should hold enough name value to be able to trade. Ekman Larson versus Toronto or Ronick versus Columbus. I'd go Ronick, honestly. I, I really like what Ronick's doing. Um, Gibson, Anderson, Bobrowski, pick two. Ooh, I don't like any of those. I'd probably just take the guaranteed win in Gibson, Bobrowski and just kill your save percentage. <laughs> I mean, with Anderson, you like don't know if you're going to get a win, but you probably are still tanking your save percentage. So like, why not just tank your save percentage together and get a win? That's what I do. <laughs> um, drop Voracek for Reinhardt, Riley Smith, or Buchnevich. Uh No, I'd I'd hold I'd hold all those. I, I'd hold Voracek still. I I know that Voracek is disappointing. Well, actually, you know what? At this point, I think I might take Reinhardt over Voracek. Yeah, I think I would. Have you tried? Um, this is from Derp Derp. Would you try moving? Have you tried moving Voracek or trading at all? Um, but honestly, Reinhardt is a really good option. I really like Reinhardt rest of season. Uh, Dylan Lark, Dylan Strom, Dylan Larkin, Dylan Dubois. Um, I, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go Larkin. If I had to pick two, two, I'd go Larkin Dubois. Uh, Darlene Petrangelo Dumba have to sit one full bangers cats head to head. And it's pretty even across the matchup. I'd go Petriangelo and Dumba and sit Darlene. I, I really do not like Buffalo's matchup against uh, Boston tonight. I really, really do not like it. Um, bench one of Kessel, Olofsson. Uh, oh, and I lost my spot. Where is this? I'm almost I'm almost at the bottom, kind of. Uh, bench one in Kessel, Olofsson, Nylander. Um, Olofsson. Olofsson's on the second? Third line. Third line now. So yeah, definitely bench Olofsson. Um, sell high on Petrangelo, who to trade for in a points league. Honestly, just hold Petrangelo. I wouldn't say there's anything. I wouldn't say there's a point in selling high. Um, unless you have like a stack defense, you're not going to, it's going to be very hard to find a Petrangelo type, um, out there. So I, I'd, I'd hold him honestly, Ahmad. Um, Usman, sit two, Meyer, Radulov, Wheeler, Raquel. Oof. I mean, I, I'd sit Raquel for sure. And then... Ah, uh, man. Who do you sit? I'd probably sit Wheeler, honestly. Because Wheeler's just not getting the minutes for me. I would sit I would sit Wheeler and Raquel, which sucks. Uh, Braden Point, you hold. Um, you got to hold, I think. I, I, I mean, I guess you could sell. You can sell. If you think he's... So watch the... He was on Unsustainably Low, or Sustainably Low, sorry, today on um, Unsustainable Wednesdays. Was that yesterday? That was yesterday. Today's Thursday. So yesterday's Unsustainable Wednesday episode, Brayden Point feature on Sustainably Low. Um, we talked about him quite a bit. And, you know, one of my takes was just that it's very likely he could be a 60-point player this year. Very, It, it is likely. There is a, a path to him being there. The question is, is you individually, you know, doing your research or whatever, which one do you think he is? Do you think he ends up finding his groove and getting back to 70, 75? Or do you think he's actually 60, you know, around there? Um, and then that will dictate a lot of what you do with him. Uh, if you can get him in a trade, for example, for like a 60-something player, and you think he's a 60-something player, then it might be worth it. Um, but at the same time, there's also the upside conversation of like, okay, you're trading away upside. Um, so I, honestly, like a guy like Brain Point, though, to me is you are trading him at the absolute lowest of lows. If you really want to get rid of Brain Point, you really don't believe. My true advice for Brain Point is this. Hold him until he gets hot. He will have a good week. For example, like the Rangers game had got a few points. That's when you sell him. Don't sell him now when he's at his absolute lowest. Wait a little bit and then you sell. Um, okay, Horvat or Goudreau, I'm guessing for tonight, I take Goudreau. Um, hey, Doug, thanks for being a patron. I appreciate it. I, someone said today that they didn't even know we had a Patreon. So we do have a Patreon. Um, if you if you care about being in it, you get a special channel with us in Discord. Um, you also get discounts on our swag. Stuff like that. Like, we have these scarves. Look at that. I have one handy. You got scarf. There's there's different things you get. So, it's in the description of the live stream. So, if you want to join Patreon, go for it. Um, it also gets you Listener League access at the beginning of the season next year. So, if you want to wait, 
that's fine too. Or if you don't want to do it, that's fine too. Uh, okay, what is next? Joseph, I've got Barkov, Shifley, and Sagan tonight. Can only start two. Woo. Go Barkov and Sagan. Yeah, I'd, I'd bench Shifley there. Uh, Trocek or Kessel, bangers. Hmm. For tonight, I'm probably going Kessel um, and benching Trocek. Bench one of Krejci, Monaghan, Couture. Probably Monaghan. Yeah, I'd bench Monaghan and play Krejci, Couture, just because I think the bu Buffalo could get absolutely lit up tonight. Bench two of Ehlers, Donskoy, Voracek, Kessel. Uh, probably Donskoy and Voracek on it. Um, yeah, Donskoy and Voracek play Kessel and Ehlers, I think. Um, ben Kessel, Reinhardt, Matthew. I don't know if you need to bench one or play one. If you need to bench one, I'd probably bench Reinhardt because he's against Boston and play Ben and Kessel. Uh, Bob Marley. Oh, Bob Marley. Hello and welcome to the stream. It's so nice to have you. I'm actually going to go. I'm going to go listen to some of you right now. Um, Bob Marley asked, bench one of Barkov, Eichel, Huberto, Evander Kane, Besser, Tavares. Jesus. That is a good lineup. Um, wow. Honestly, I'd probably bench Eichel. They're against Boston. I don't trust. I don't trust Buffalo against Boston. They already can't score for their lives. At even strength, um, there's I, I don't I just don't see a way that they actually continue to score. I I, I or how they actually score. I, I don't see it, uh, especially against rest. Okay, so what is next here? Let's see. Um, I'm going a little slow today. Sorry about that, folks. Um, let's take my time because we actually have time before games for once, and I'm just I'm just taking it all in. You know, I'm enjoying it. Um, Elite Ninja Kopitar, Pedersen, or Point. I'm guessing it's for a start tonight probably Kopitar and Pedersen. Although Kucherov is out, so Point might actually get some good opportunities. I'd still probably go Kopi and Pedersen, honestly. Um, What to do with Kessel, and what can we expect from Cam Atkinson? Cam Atkinson, to me, is unsustainably low. Um, I'm feeling good about Cam Atkinson. Kessel is a tough situation. There'll be a bust watch on Phil Kessel tomorrow, so pay attention to the channel because there should be one coming tomorrow. Um, I lied. I'm not listening to Bob Marley. I'm going to go listen to something else. Uh, what is next? Let's see. Jackson just started watching it, and it's keeping you alive on the commute. Thank you for listening. Um, I don't know how everyone listens. I used to listen to podcasts when I lived in LA, and I had a two-and-a-half-hour commute each way. Podcasts were the thing that kept me alive, too. Uh, I And I do not miss that commute one bit. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Chris got offered Aho and Wheeler for Larkin and Rotten and I'd keep Larkin and Rotten, even though even though Rotten's injured. Uh, Mark, Mark, love your content. Appreciate the advice. Bench two, Brain Point, Kyle Connor, Riley Smith, or Radulov. I'd bench Riley Smith. Then I'd probably bench Connor. I think. I think I'd I'd play Point and Radulov there. I like Connor, but. I don't like their matchup too much. I'd probably go Brain Point and Radulov in that situation. Um, Goudreau only averages around four points, five points in my 18 banger league scoring system. Not much upside outside of goals and assists. So Reed, uh, Reed is saying is asking if a streamer spot is more valuable than Goudreau um, in an eight teamer. Honestly, I'd say I'd hold a little bit longer because right now the places that he's unsustainable are, are points. Um, but he's never really averaged much. I mean, if last year, what I'd say is this. He's not going to be as good as last year, since you're already taking a look at averages from last year, Reed. Take a look at what he did last year and look at people that you could be picking up and see if that's worth it. Because the truth of the matter is that, like, Goudreau is not going to be better than last year because all of the flames were over-indexed based on high uh, shooting percentages. And that helped assists in other places. Um, it helped, you know, obviously some people have overinflated goals. So I don't see Goudreau as a 99-point guy. I see him more as like maybe an 80, 82-point guy. Um, but it's going to take some time for him to get there. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I think that if he wasn't worth it last year, he's probably not worth a ton this year either. Although I'd definitely try to trade first if you can. Um, Ahmad, what to do with Ristolainen? In a points league, you drop. Risto has no value in a points league, in a points only league. Like, if all you're caring about is points, Risto's not going to get them to you. Um, 
Yeah, that's the difficult thing with Warcheck, right? Derp Derp was saying no one wants Warcheck, but they're obviously going to pick him up off waivers. I know. That's literally my problem. I have him in a keeper league. But the thing is, I'm in I'm in first in my keeper league. And so, you know what? I'll take, I'll, I'll hold Warcheck. You're not going to find better upside than him on the waiver right now. Um, so I'm going to hold. And as long as you, ha- if you have a streamer spot, like I would wait quite a bit until, um, I would wait quite a bit until I finally drop Warcheck. Like I- I'd have to, because think about it. Like I have two streamer spots already and Warcheck. Take a while. Hello, Brandon. Thank you for die, die, die. Um, <laughs> such a, such a Brandon message. Brandon is Stockenborg in the chat, by the way. Um, what is a good cat to replace plus minus? What is a good cat to replace plus minus? It depends on what you, what you play with. Um, my personal ones, um, my personal favorite, I mean, my favorite cats are the ones we play with at the moment for skaters in, in our personal league and to read off what that is. Um, so I should have this remembered at the top of my head, but I don't. Uh, goals, assists, pims, power play points, shots on goal, hits and blocks. That's what we play with, and I love it. And then three goalie cats. Um, those are my favorite. I think pims adds a lot, blocks add a lot, um, just because it deepens the pool of who's actually valuable and what you can do on a week to week streaming basis. It ups the the talent level. Um, start two: Grice, Rask, or Flurry. Probably Rask. I mean. I'm for sure starting Rask. I think I go Rask and Flurry there. I would not be trying to... Uh, Mark, Mark, I don't know if you caught what I said on, on Braden Point, but um, I wouldn't be trying to sell Braden Point right now. Uh, I don't know. Dylan's asking if Eichel is immune to Buffalo's bad matchup. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know if he is. I mean, if anybody there on Buffalo is immune to the terrible matchup, it's got to be Eichel. But, like, it's not by much. I'll tell you that much. Uh, is it recommended Sid Bennington against Tampa? How are you doing in your matchup, Ahmad? If you're winning, then sure, bench Benny- Bennington because it's not worth the upside. If it's a close matchup or you're losing, I think you got to play Bennington. Do you think Line A would be a good buy low target? What about Mantic Chuck for Line A? Mm-hmm. Uh, so the issue with Line A right now is the same thing as Wheeler, in essence. Um, well, it's twofold, actually. It's a little different from, like, oof, I'm dropping things. I get very fidgety. Uh, Line A, it has a twofold problem. One, his even strength performance is absolute garbage again, like last year. His line is the worst Corsi 4 percentage of all of them. And then on top of that, he's on that second power play that's not getting a lot of time. So right now, I wouldn't, because... If I look at how the advanced stats look, everything to me points line A is not deserving of top line, um, and he won't keep it. So I would say that right now I wouldn't buy low. I'd, I'd rather have Matthew Kachuk over line A, um, in my opinion. Reinhardt versus Boston or Johansson versus Vancouver, I'd go Johansson. I really, really don't like that matchup against Boston for for Buffalo. Watch Buffalo like win 4-0. It's going to be crazy. Oh, we say 4-0 here, not 4-0. That's another sport. Um, let's see. Oh, Olofsson should be dropped at this point, honestly. Olofsson is um, third line right now. I I I dropped Olofsson. Like, Olofsson at this point is a streamer until he actually like keeps that top line. He's play- Right now, he's with Casey Middlestadt and Rasmus Asplund. We'll see if that actually sticks for the day. He's still top power play, but yeah, but yeah definitely, definitely bench Olofsson. Um... Sit one of Kopitar, Pedersen, or Point. Oh, man. I'm probably sitting Point. Yeah, well, the tough thing is Kuch is out. But I would I would do... There's an argument to be made that Kucherov makes Point better. Um, I know some people don't agree with that, but it might be true. I'd play Kopitar and Pedersen, honestly. Um, Thomas Johnson... Is it time to trade Nylander or should I wait and see how things play out? I'd personally wait and see how things play out. Um, I would try to trade him soon. Like I'd, I'd shop it. I'd put it out there and see what people, I'd see what people think because like maybe someone values him a lot and I'd, and I'd want him or I'd want to, I'd want to trade him. But the thing is that he's not going to, I don't think he's going to keep top power play unless they put Marner on the top power play over Tyson Berry and then Nylander stays up there. I don't know if that happens though. Um, 
I'd shop him. I, I don't know if I'd necessarily say like you must you must sell him, you must trade him, but like yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. Um let's see. What is the next one here? Start connecting Kessel or Atkinson tonight. Uh Konechny, Kessel or Atkinson. You know, I don't like Konechny's matchup, so I won't t say Konechny. I think you got to play Atkinson against... Uh, I think Yeah, I think I'd play Atkinson um, there. I, I like Atkinson tonight a lot versus Detroit. Um, and of course, thank you for tuning into the stream and, and asking questions. It's awesome to have so many people tune in. Um, let's see... My off my buddy offered me point for Arvidsson. Who wins? Point point still wins over Arvidsson. Arvidsson is near droppable at this point. So if you could get point for Arvidsson, that'd be huge. I'd do that in a million. Um let's see. What is next? Uh keep hints or Atkinson long term or keep both and have no streamer spot. I'd rather have Atkinson long term and drop hints for a streamer spot, Joseph. Uh, Mark Crown, start two, stall, Galchenyuk, or James Neal. Uh, Stall and Galchenyuk, I think. I really don't like James Neal's deployment. And they're playing against, um, they're playing against LA. I mean, it's LA, but I still don't like James Neal's deployment at all. Uh, Hoffman, Pulak for William Carlson, Shea, Theodore. So I would say automatically no to that because you don't want to stack automatically. You don't want to aim for a stack. So I would keep Hoffman, Pulak, honestly. Um, Brandon might say differently, but I think, I think you keep Hoffman Pulak there. Um, especially with the blocks. Matthews versus Tarasenko and Lundqvist in a dynasty league. Matthews all day, all day. Keep Matthews like that in a, in a dynasty league, uh, scaf coup. It doesn't even matter what the cats are. Just dynasty league. Keep in keep at all. Uh, who's a better streamer at the moment, Cassian or Burakovsky? I'd go Burakovsky personally. Um, what's next? Gambit for the win. Thanks for answering all the questions. Of course. Uh, and then you get one of, um, what's it called? Yeah, I'd play, I, I think Meyer and, play Meyer and, uh, no, sorry, bench. What am I saying? Flaky. I am, I, I'm being flaky. I'm all over the place right now. Uh, Radulov and Ekane, play that. I was trying to figure out why the audio wasn't gone. Um, yeah, sorry that it's cutting in and out. I wonder why that is. Uh, my, my stuff shows that it's all working so it's a little weird that it's cutting in and out so keep an eye on it if it's still if it's still being weird let me know um okay let me scroll up here really quick uh okay it's back sweet sorry guys i, I don't know what's going on it's showing everywhere on my stuff that it's on so <laughs> uh okay so flaky i'll, I'll re-answer that really quick um i'd, I'd stick with radulov and ek and you don't want to uh, then you get you still like if you bench meyer you're fine because then you still get some of uh san jose's action even though they're not on necessarily the same line I, i'd stick with that um okay and then what else is in here i think i missed a few uh yeah burkovsky burns chabot morrissey klingberg dumbo and wranski and the bangers i need a bit more offense I'd say, uh, Brandon, so you have a lot of high-end D, honestly, and because of that, you're in a really interesting position. I would personally, honestly, try to shop uh, Wierenski or Morrissey, maybe drop even. Um, I would I would honestly say, like, I would probably s shop Morrissey around, shop Wierenski, and, and you have such good defensemen that you can probably drop. If you're looking for points and you need offense, then what you need, yeah, what you need to do is you need to generate more offensive streamer positions. So that's what I'd that's what I'd do, Brandon. 
Um, I would definitely either I would look to trade first some of those low end guys if you can and get someone above replacement level, or I would just drop like Wierenski, for example, is not very valuable. Um, Morrissey is could be valuable in a trade. Like I think he could be more valuable in a trade potentially than he would be on your specific team. Um, and Dumba as well is just one of those guys that you could potentially just kind of move on someone that wants upside. Um, yeah, if you receive the Matthew side, great trade. And second, drink some water here. Okay, I'm back. Some water. Thank you, Alex. Of course. We we love you. You give us so much support. It's incredible. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you're 7-0. Oh. That is, I, I love, probably my favorite things has been, um, probably one of my favorite things of the season so far, or any time we do the podcast at the end or during, like, one of my favorite things always is when people tell us they're, like, crushing their league or something. It makes me so happy. It, it truly makes it, like, completely worth it. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Getzloff or Ben... Gets off for Ben in the center tonight. I'd go Ben, I think. Uh, and I'd, I'd play Dadnov on the left. I'd play Ben and then play Dadnov in the left wing, personally. Um, the bearded one. Dylan Edwards is sound, sound, sound. What else is in here? Let's see. Let's see. What's this all about? What's up, fun son? I, trust me, I think I need a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if I need more sun, but maybe. Um, what else? Blonde hair dude seen here too. Skinny for sports. I don't know what that means, but I do play goal. I have a game tonight. If we win, we're in the playoffs. If we lose, I'm out. So it's a big game, but won't, won't lie that I am a small dude. That's okay. <laughs> Been actively, actively gaining weight. It's a, it's a, it's a challenge, but you know, I still play sports. My, my body type is good for soccer and apparently goaltending too. Somehow I, although if you look at other goaltenders, honestly, they're pretty skinny. Um, Okay, what else here? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What to do with Giordano? 14-team league, standard cats, no real targets on FA. Do you hold him or target player in trade? I'd hold. I'd just hold Giordano. I think his upside is there. A, a lot of right now, a lot of Calgary in general is underperforming from a shooting, shooting percentage perspective. Um, for example, if you look at Goudreau, his shooting percentage right now is really low. Um, so I, I'd, I'd hold Giordano. I would pick up Philip Ronick. I like Philip Ronick a lot. Um, and then ground star asked brain pointer, Bo Horvat tonight. If we're talking about brain pointer, Bo Horvat, um, huh? I would say that if you're just playing for tonight, uh, I'd probably, I'd probably play brain point over Horvat, honestly. <laughs> good, good thing. Mark, Mark, we're getting hacked. I think it's also maybe it's just my dog. He wants me to stop talking. He's like, come play with me uh what else loving the sit start streams love it i hope you're um i hope you're i hope they're helpful i mean i honestly haven't really we get so many questions i, I would like to be able to keep up with some of them and be like damn it i told this person to drop or to like bench this player um but i haven't i've barely been able to keep up we get so it's crazy how different and the same a lot of the questions are would you start to bring against tampa or brock nelson against Tam pit i'd probably go brock nelson over pit on or over to bring honestly um, probably. Ooh, I'm stacked at center with Matthews, Kopitar, Pedersen, Zibanejad, and a point. Jesus, that's a lot of centers. Um, so Elite Ninja, I would say I'd probably look to trade Kopi or Pedersen. Um, point is going to be lowest value possible. I would say Kopitar and Point should be your two people you're looking to trade. Um, granted, you know, Point is at your lowest. Um. Point is at your lowest, but you could maybe you're, you're so stacked at center. It kind of doesn't matter for you. Like you're doing well either way. Kopitar, just one of those guys who's red hot. You can probably get something for, you're also not going to lose it. Um, so I, I would say those guys, I would hold Zbanejad. Zbanejad, I think still has tons of potential and you're not going to get value for him right now. And Pedersen just has a, such a high ceiling and we don't really know who he is and he's unsustainable. But at the same time, we've seen guys who are, you know, like that. And then they end up, staying unsustainable um chick or dumba tonight kind of depends on what you need i'd say if you need um if you need peripherals i probably go chick if you need points go dumba i think is what i'd do um 
I kind of like chicken more. I do not play fantasy basketball. There is so much. There's so much there. Um, my favorite sports outside of hockey. Hockey is my favorite, of course. And then aside from that, I really like tennis. And I really like uh, soccer, football as well. Sevilla is my team. And then Rafa Nadal is my tennis person. Um, general question. When do you stop tinkering when you have a good team? That's a really good question, honestly. Um, the question is, I don't think is like, how do you stop tinkering? Um, I don't think you ever do. I think that when you have a good team, though, what you really need to do is not trade. That's kind of a take of mine is like, I am very careful when it comes to trading when I have a good team. Um, Because a lot of times, like especially in the categories league, you kind of forget that it's all about how you're doing in each category. When you make one little move, a lot of times you're affecting the whole composition of your roster and why it's been so good. And it's sometimes really hard in a trade, especially in the season, to wrap your head around how that's going to affect everything. Um, And so... It's, I think that would be my thing is you want to have when your team is good, you want to have streamer options where you can play the wire well. And the nice thing when you're playing the wire and you have a good team is you don't need to be so good on the wire to win weeks. You just need to be good enough that it sets you in a league above everybody else, right? Like you don't have to make pickups that are going to win or lose your week. You already have a good team. It's it's really where trades where you should be absolutely winning trades for this because otherwise it's not worth it for you if you're not winning a trade then what's the point because you're already in first right um so that would be my kind of advice there for that march or william carlson tonight i'm probably going wild bill trade cooch dowdy markstrom for kane suban varlamov Oof, i'd keep the kucherov side all day um yeah, Skafku, a lot of people do play kind of, I think, shallower leagues uh, for the most part from our listeners and people watching and everything. We see a good mix, honestly. Um, I play I play in a lot of different ones. I play in a Dynasty. I play in a Keep 5. I play in a Standard Cats. I play in a Points League. I play in a Normal Cats League. Um, and then obviously we have our Listener Leagues. So I play in a lot of different ones, um, which I, get, I, I do on purpose because I want to be able to help and know the most know the know the most types of leagues for advice um being on trading way raquel and gets for an injured zibanejad i'd do that in a heartbeat alex i love zibanejad even though he's injured he's skated today in a non in, in a contact jersey so it seems he's close um i would do that brain point or horvat yep um sweet i'm glad you played Ehlers over pavelski i mean i'm i'm just not super high on pavelski in general opinion on ryan strom i think you can keep it up um i think actually right now um, I do think that right now I would keep Ryan Strom because he could end up being, um, it would, you know, I, I think they will keep it together because they've been playing so well. And before Zibanejad went out, they had already split it. So I think right now they'll keep it split until then. Would you consider doing a streamer video where you review listeners teams? Potentially. I think. The hard thing is like there's just so much to take into account when people say send your team. You know, like you don't know how the rest of the team is. You don't know who's on the wire. Like there's just so much that goes into judging a team. Um, that honestly, it's it's a lot. It's a lot more complex than it seems. As as easy as like you know, oh that's a five star. That's a that's a six star. Like out of ten or whatever. Um, but I'll try to think of a way to do it. And I'm glad Jay Duds that my advice is going to send your kids to college because that's what we're going to do here. We don't lose. Uh, RV or Kessel? I think Kessel over Arvidsson, honestly. Um, Sit Malkin, Tavares, Tavares, Pedersen tonight again. Um, oh, it's Vili, it's Vili Kylo Ren. What's up, Vili Kylo Ren? I don't know how to pronounce your last name, so I just call you Kylo Ren. Um, Sit Malkin, Tavares, or Pedersen tonight? Huh. Hmm. I probably, honestly, I probably sit Tavares. I probably play Malkin Pedersen, my opinion. Um, Malkin's just a monster. Pedersen is a beast. We don't know how Tavares is going to get deployed tonight. Um, they're playing the number one safe percentage team in the league. So many, you know, so many question marks. Um, I, I, I play Malkin and Pedersen, Billy Kylo Ren. 
Uh, sit one of Meyer or G JT Miller. Um, <laughs> I'd sit JT Miller in that situation. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, Skafka, he, he's saying it's funny to look back and see wrong versus right. I, I know, like, I think that's one thing we, we talked about when we started the podcast a long, long time ago. One thing we decided on that we wanted to be is we wanted to not be afraid of being wrong um, and giving advice on the podcast because a lot of times, you know, we we see this a lot in like fantasy football and stuff like that too, is people like analysts and whatnot are really afraid to give straight advice and be wrong. Um, and I get it because, you know, your credibility relies on you being right and people listening to you being right. Um, but at the same time, I think that you do yourself a disservice by not putting yourself out there because I, I mean, look, we do a ton of research. I spend my entire day making videos, doing research on different players and everything. Like why not use it? And I'm giving you information with the best advice I got, right? Like if, um, if I'm wrong, I can live with it. And that's kind of mine and Brandon's mantra is like, we're happy to be wrong. As long as we could go back and say the advice I gave, I would do it all over again with the same knowledge I had at the time. Um, so yeah, I'm a, a random little aside, but that's that's kind of one of our, our viewpoints, I think, on the podcast. That's really that's really important. Um, yeah, let's get to a few more questions in here. I have to sit one of O'Reilly, Mantha, Linholm, Meyer points only. Um, this is from Eddie Fitzgerald. I have to sit one of O'Reilly, Mantha, Linholm, Meyer. Probably Linholm, to be honest. Um, I'd probably I don't like the I don't like the Flames against St. Louis tonight, especially away. Um, I don't like it. Uh, do you play any season long format leagues? I do. So I'm in a, like a best ball league, um, which is, if you don't, don't know what best ball is, it's pretty much a set it and forget it. You draft, you have a full lineup. There's no bench spots. Um, and you just kind of play the whole season and that's what I play. And you get one pickup a, a, a year. Um, so it's not the same exactly as season long format. I think next year I'll join a roto or something like that, uh, just to get that under my belt too. Um, there's a lot of advice to give in those situations. Uh, more often than not, in like a roto league, you want the best players possible. Um, it's different because you don't necessarily need to worry about the streaming in and out situation as much. You just kind of want the best people possible. Um, and your draft matters a lot more. Um, Traded away. Yeah. I mean, I, I do that. I've done that too. I blow up my team sometimes when I'm bored. I was doing well at the beginning of the season and I traded. And I traded um, Stamkos for Wheeler. Great stuff. Um, let's see what else here. Brian Rust or Robbie Fabry. Ooh, that's a good one. And thank you for tuning in, Ground Star. It's the hockey version of um. Well, uh, Brian Rust or Robbie Fabry, probably Brian, probably Brian Rust right now with the deployment that he's getting. Uh, I really like the line he's on. Ehlers or Radulov, probably Radulov tonight. Um. I like, I like Radulov's matchup a lot more, even though they play a team that's hard to score on. Uh, sit one of Mantha, Dadnov, Debrincat, Perron, Debrincat versus Tampa all day. Is a streamer spot better than Reinhardt? Uh, probably not. It depends on your league settings, but probably not. Reinhardt's been playing unbelievable this season. Um, I know people have been kind of frustrated about Reinhardt, but I'm goals again, goals, assists, plus minus hits and shots. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't think so. How deep is your league, Artem? Because um, I would say... Yeah, I would say a streamer spot is probably not better than Reinhardt for now. Blake Wheeler and Jack Hughes for Ryan O'Reilly. No, no, no. Don't do that. Keep Blake Wheeler. Drop Jack Hughes. <laughs> Keep Blake Wheeler. Drop Jack Hughes. Figure out, like, figure out... Who to, unless you have, do you have face off wins? If you have face off wins, that actually might be different, Captain Blazer. That's important. Um, if you don't have face off wins, then in that case, for sure, just keep Jack Hughes uh, or keep Jack Hughes and Wheeler and drop Hughes for a streamer spot. Um, in a 12 teamer, Artem, I'd hold Reinhardt still. I know it's been frustrating as of late, but he's still looking pretty good to me. Um, I'd still hold a little longer. Bench Krejci or Couturier? That's a tough one. Personally, I'd say Couturier, just because I like. Um, I think I think Krejci's matchup is far better than Couturier's. Uh, I wouldn't. No faceoff wins. I'd I'd hold that then. Um, 
Oh, I'm glad I suggested to play Hoffman. That was a risky one. I, I think I remember that one. I think I remember Brandon and I talking about the Hoffman one. We were a little bit like different. Um, let's see. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate the love. Um, center lineup is Matthews, Barkov, Krejci, Duchesne, Taze. I'm not able to play two. Which one to trade? Uh, probably Krejci. Um, probably Krejci or Taze, Ahmad. That's who I'd look to trade or drop, honestly. That's a great, yeah, Bob. That's a great move. I, I love when people, uh, I love when people bench or just ignore plus minus in their leagues. And, and it's like, no one thinks of it either. In a lot of plus minus leagues, no one really thinks of just ignoring it. But normally you can get some really killer picks uh, if you ignore plus minus and, and win in other categories. Uh, I did, yeah. So that last time, Alex, I'll, I'll say this much. I, I was right there with you. And I played that night. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. Oh, I'll call you Art, man. Thanks for thanks for watching so much. I appreciate it a ton. Um, but I'll show you what happened in my matchup here really quick. So last that when when was this? Was this uh Tuesday or something like that? Was it Monday? Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I played <laughs> I played Markstrom and Jones over Grubauer, and I got just destroyed. Yeah, that was the bad. And and I thought I was I was like, oh, I went into the night, I was like Bryce and Murray gets destroyed. I have Markstrom and Jones. What could go wrong? And they somehow do do way, way worse. It's absolutely shocking. Um, it's great. So Grubauer or Anderson tonight, I think you go Grubauer. Um, I, I know, you know, everyone's hyped up about the Leafs with their new coach and everything, but I don't trust it away at Arizona. I think you, I think you bench Andrew. I think you go Grubauer. Um Yeah, I think you'd play Grubauer over Anderson. Um, wow. Radulov, Arvidsson, and Oshi are all on waivers. Um, probably Radulov, honestly. I I'd gone for Radulov, I think, in points only. Um, even though his minutes and stuff are down, I still like him more than those other two, just from a deployment and ceiling standpoint. Sit Darlene against Boston? Probably. I mean, if you have other people to play, yeah. I, I really don't like that matchup tonight. Um, play Grubauer over Marlamov. That was a great move. What is your biggest regret in your fantasy career to date? In terms of trade drop, etc. Man, I have a few. Um, I've made some bad trades with Brandon. I forget who I did before. Like, a long time ago, I did, uh, I did some bad trades with Brandon. Um... I'm trying to remember of a trade I made last year that was really bad, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I traded Brandon Bergeron for JVR last season. That wasn't great. I don't know. I don't even remember why I did it. Like, I just remember waking up after doing that trade, and I was like, what? Like, what have I done? Like why? Why did I even do that? I wasn't. I was completely sober. I was like, I. I don't know why I just did that. Um, let me see if I can go back to some old leagues here. And we got ten minutes until game start. Uh, that was a good trade. I traded Risto for Arvidsson. That was a good one. That was even for both of us, Brandon. I'm trying to remember what exactly I did last year. Um, oh, last year actually, one that I did that I regretted a lot was last season. At the end in my points league, I traded Stone for Line A, which was a risk one. Like I was a third or fourth place, and I was like, I'll take it, I'll take the upside in Line A. It Stone ended up going off and Line A was down there. I was just like, ah, that sucks. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh Marshan, Crawford, Dubnik for Goudreau and Vassy. Hmm. Um, are you get 13 thoughts? Are you you're getting Goudreau and Vasilevsky. Uh, Anton, Meyer in your lineup would be good, depending on who you're benching. Yeah, I mean, if you're getting Vasilevsky and Goudreau, I'd probably take that. Although, it may leave you hurting quite a bit in peripherals because you're losing Marshan. So keep that, keep that in mind. Hmm.
man. I think I'd keep I'd keep Goudreau and Vasilevsky personally. I still think Vasilevsky turns it around. Uh, sit Fabry or Raquel. Hmm. Probably sit Fabry. Honestly, I'd probably play Raquel tonight. Line air, Marchiso. I like Marchiso tonight. Ryan. Thoughts on Schmidt over someone like Wierenski? Don't hate it. I mean, I it, like Wierenski to me is worth a streamer spot. Like, Especially, I think I remember Derp, you said you had really good defensemen or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, and in that case, like, yeah, he's he's worth it. He's worth a streamer spot. His ceiling isn't very high. Duchesne, Point, or O'Reilly. So O'Reilly, I'm definitely playing. Um, I'm probably playing O'Reilly and Braden Point, I think. Well, no, you know what? You already have in on that game. I'd probably go O'Reilly and Duchesne. What's the ceiling for Taze? You know, it's that's tough. Uh, wait one second. Let me get to John for the question on who to sit. Uh, I would bench, believe it or not, Voracek. I'd probably play Cassian and Hoffman. As much as that hurts, that's what I'd do. Um, what's the ceiling for Taze? Honestly, tough to say. Um, I mean, his floor is a little bit more predictable, I'd say, which is pretty much similar to last year. Um, I think his ceiling is probably like 70 points, something like that. 65, 70 points is the ceiling. And you're looking at like a 50. 55 to 60 guy uh, most likely with the 70 ceiling that's what i'd say i think getting geo and sagan from a car and stone yes take that i would take giordano and sagan from a car and stone in a bangers league as long as it's not a keeper or something then yeah definitely um bench one stamkos eichel Pedersen probably eichel there just dropped hutton yeah that's a that's a great that's a great call ryan i would do that too ground star um would you trade bennington for hamilton i have bishop kemper bennington looking to upgrade defense yeah you know what i would do that actually i would i would trade bennington for kemper um Yeah, I would I would trade um I would trade Bennington for for Hamilton given that you have Bishop and Kemper already. Although if you have saves, I don't know if I would. If you have a saves category, then maybe not. You you if you have a streamer spot once you do that, then maybe. But um you would be sacrificing a little bit. Um. Hart on the wire, yes, absolutely. Drop Hutton for Carter Hart, like right now, immediately. Do it like even if you have to steal someone's phone, log in because you don't have yours or whatever. Do that now. Um, Elias Pettersson for Taylor Hall. Yeah, I'd do that. I'd take Taylor Hall. Um, Clefbaum or OEL. Cats League without Pims. Probably Clefbaum, honestly. No saves then? Yeah, definitely do that. Ground star. I would trade Bennington for Hamilton then. Uh, ESPN. Honestly, the reason I don't like it are a few. One, I really don't like the UX. Um, I, I really don't. I, I really don't like the usability of it. Um there's a few feature things I don't like. Like I, I don't, I feel, I find doing research on it is pretty bad. Um, I honestly, the setting lineups thing on Yahoo is like a, is a lifesaver. I mean, so many leagues that being able to set, like start all active lines is an absolute lifesaver. Um, and obviously, like I said, the, U the redesign from last year is just atrocious and research. I think I said this already too, but I think the research bit is, is really hard to navigate or annoying to navigate rather. Uh, what value should you be looking for in Shabbat? I'd aim pretty high, honestly. Like Chabot to me is still a, is still a good player on a great pace. Um, not a point per game defenseman, but still like you know probably a fifty point defenseman is what I'd see in in a guy like Chabot. That's what I'd assume Chabot gets up to. He's shooting at only two percent, which is really really low. I think he's more of like a four or five percent shooter. Um, he's probably missing like two goals at the moment. His IPP is right in line. His on ice shooting percentage is a little low. So you know assume that Chabot is like a fifty percent. Um, you're sorry, 50 point guy, and that's kind of what you're going for. Matthews or Marshan for tonight? Marshan all day. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, I got Katuri and Lindblom already. Nice. Is Derek Broussard sustainable? No. He was very close to being on um, my unsustainably high list. I just didn't add him because I was like, I don't think he's that, that relevant. Um, RNH or Pavelski, I'm guessing for tonight. For tonight, I'd probably go RNH, I think. Although it's kind of a toss up, but I think I'd go RNH over Pavelski. Neil for Atkinson, Goudreau, Reinhardt for Carlson, Smith, Kutrov, Provorov for Goudreau, Burns. I really like the Neil Atkinson trade. Uh, Neil for Atkinson trade. I think that's a fantastic trade to make. You get one unsustainable goal scorer for another one who's one of the best goal scorers in the NHL and should still put up 30 goals this season. Um, I actually like the Kucherov Provorov one a lot too, to be honest. I love the Kucherov Provorov for Goudreau Burns. Burns is so much better than Provorov. It's insane. Um, play Rust or pick up Reinhardt, Burkowski, Hoffman, or Dylan Strom. Wow, Hoffman's available. Probably, I'd probably pick up Hoffman, to be honest. Depending on your cast. I mean, if you rely on like goals a lot, then Hoffman's a great option. Uh, Reinhardt for tonight is not a good option. I wouldn't pick up Burakovsky for tonight. I wouldn't pick up Dylan Strom for tonight. Really, the only one would be Hoffman. Um, uh, thanks, a, thanks a ton, Daryl. I appreciate it. Have a good one, and good luck with good luck with tonight. Um, points league, I have Holtby and Gibson as my two goalies, along with Hart. Do I drop Hart for a streamer spot for a goalie? No, keep Hart. It's okay. I, I think if you've got... Um, yeah, no, keep Hart if you're if you're in a points league. I, it depends on how much goalies are worth, but if goalies are worth a lot, I wouldn't drop Hart just yet. Um, thank you so much, Usman. I appreciate it. And thanks for being in the Discord. It's tons of fun. If people aren't in there already, you definitely should join. Okay, so we got two minutes here, um, and then I'm going to be signing off. So my dog needs me because he's needy and keeps whining. I don't know if you can hear him on here. He barks and whines at the door, and he's like, come play with me. What teams do I think are unsustainably high and unsustainably low? Um, huh. What teams do I think are unsustainably high or unsustainably low? Rest of the season, Gustav or Buchnevich? Buchnevich, I think. What teams do you think are unsustainably high and unsustainably low? Um, I think... I, I think Ottawa's a little unsustainably high at the moment. I think that... Uh, Yeah, I think that I think Ottawa's a little unsustainably high. I think Montreal's a little bit unsustainably high. I think Calgary's unsustainably low at the moment. Um, Pittsburgh's a little unsustainably low. Just from a team who's getting the points perspective. Um, yeah, I don't play DraftKings. Uh, the reason for that is I, at least currently, work. I do marketing currently. Uh, Brandon and I work at Draft, which is a daily fantasy platform. Um and so we do that during our day jobs. I do marketing for them. Um, so that's fun. Um, but soon enough, planning on doing this full time and giving it a shot, seeing how big we can actually make a fantasy channel and see if it can actually support me for a little bit. So that's what I'll be doing in a few months. Uh, it might not even be a few months. It might be sooner than that. <laughs> but I'm excited. I get to make content all day. Um, yeah, I do. I do a lot of podcast stuff and then marketing for job um what else what else in here yeah do not play DraftKings uh because of that um but i'm not a, i'm not a big daily fantasy guy brandon is actually really really good at uh daily fantasy if you look in the description of the couturier duchene or monahan tonight uh i'd go duchene and monahan or monahan no, sorry duchene then monahan then couturier that'd be my order there um for Discord, check out the description in the live stream. I'll post it right now, too. But in the description of the live stream, there is the link to Discord. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Here you go. Pasting it here. There you go. That's the invite link to the Discord channel. I'll just post it in the chat. Um, be sure to join in. There's so much good discussion. Hockey game. I'm actually playing net in uh, in hockey tonight. I'm I'm playing the Bob the Bob Watch. I'm kind of 
we're the number one. We have like second least goals against in the league. So my goaltending works. Um, we just don't score many goals. So that's why we're playing for a playoff spot tonight. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so there you go, folks. 701. Good luck in all your matchups tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'll get this last one from Anton. Don Skoy, Krejci, and Meyer in the lineup. I'd have Getzloff and Katria on the bench. Nope. I like that perfectly. Thanks so much. Enjoy the, the night of all the games. Um, be sure to set a reminder for Saturdays to start live stream. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.